and Devin's lab. And I'm Devin's mom, and today we are here because Devin got this Dino Fossil Dig Kit from National Geographic's STEM line. So Devin, what are we gonna do here with this kid? So we're gonna we're gonna dig up these big rocks that have dino faces on them, and then we're not gonna see if it's gonna be one of the real fossils. All right, so we're gonna dig in here and see if there is a fossil. Okay, see what dino fossil we unearth. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright guys, we forgot. We need to be safety first. Alright, so, we um, open this kit. We have our instructions here. Definitely need those and a learning guide so we can learn more about the dinosaurs that we are Whoa. digging up. We have, oh my gosh, guys. Devin, this is dinosaur poop. <laughs> it says dinosaur poop. It says real dinosaur poop. Can Approximately 50 million years old. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Wow. So I we're going to... Go ahead. Wow, I did not know that. Dino poop was... Wow, I'm just impressed. <laughs> How did they find this? I don't know. Some archaeologists <laughs> found some dino poop. Oh, yes. Yeah, All right. Word. So then we also have our little kit here. So we have our magnifying glass. We have our, I want to make sure I'm um, getting these tools correctly, um, a dig tool that was simple. And then one brush. And then here is the really fun part. Look at that, Dada. So here we have our, uh-huh, this is our dig brick, okay? Um, and then also what's going to be in here is um, a carded, oh, well, I guess this is our poop, our carded coprolite specimen, okay? Oh we're going to find a tooth replica inside. So we're going to dig and dig and dig until we find a tooth replica. Are well, you ready, right now, Devin? I'm really excited about this. Well, it. you will definitely get a chance to hold the dino poop, okay? <laughs> okay. So, let's get started. I didn't put on all right, here we go. So the first thing that we need to do is there's a specimen that is buried deep inside of our digging brick and we are going to carefully dig in the brick using our tools, okay? So if it is too hard, then it says that we can add a little water and let it soak so it'll soften up, okay? And we have to make sure that we excavate all the way around it, okay? But we don't want to try to pull it out. Okay, we want to try to be as gentle as possible because we don't want our specimen to break. No. Okay, so patience is key. All right, and then when we get it out, we're going to rinse it with water. Okay, and then you'll have your dino specimen, okay? Dino specimen. And All then right. we're going to feel our poop. And then we're going to feel our poop. <laughs> <laughs> we get to do this. We get to do this. All right, Devin, show us your dig brick. This is it. Oh, look at that. No, what kind of dinosaur does that look like? A T-Rex. It does look like a T-Rex. Are you ready to become an archaeologist? Yeah. All right, let's get your tools and get started. You got to start scraping away very nicely. All right, keep going, Devin. This is going to take a while, so let's go.
<laughs> and now I can see the fossil. Doesn't that so cool? I can't wait to see exactly what it is. Keep digging, okay? Okay. I got. I've been digging for an hour. Wow. Oh my gosh, Devin, what do you think that is? <laughs> a what? A tooth. A tooth, a T-Rex tooth. Hold it up so we can see. Hold, hold it down a little bit. <laughs> that is so cool. So we're going to rinse off the rest of the dirt and we're going to give a close-up of our T-Rex tooth. Good job. That was wonderful. Ooh. All right, guys, so we are back with Devin the paleontologist. Devin, show us what you unearthed. Let's take a look at it. So I unearthed a, a T-Rex tooth. Oh, my gosh. That thing is ginormous. How's it feel, Devin? It feels kind of fragile. Okay, it feels fragile. Is it rough or bumpy? Or is it smooth? It's smooth. Smooth? Is it? Yeah, but it's in the middle of hard and smooth. Okay, is it light or is it heavy? For a tooth. Light. Light? So that'd be the same weight as your tooth? No, but not as small. Well, no, it's definitely bigger and it's probably a little heavier too, right? 